All right, now it's time to take action. My three-step plan to build a WordPress site in 30 minutes or less. So the first question is always, should you go with free or not? You can feel free to use free options such as blogger.com or wordpress.com. The problem here though is that you'll have to include blogspot.com or wordpress.com at the end of your domain name. This is not professional and it screams hobby blog instead of business blog. So be the CEO that you are, take that next step. You want to own your website and not have another company own it. So I recommend a self-hosted WordPress site instead. This is what most bloggers, including myself, use. You want to use WordPress.org, not WordPress.com, so that you can use plugins and custom themes and you own it. So here's how to set it up fast. Step one, you want to create your hosting and domain account. This is the house that your blog will live in. I recommend Bluehost.com. This is what I have used for the last five years. And FYI, I do have an affiliate link um, that you can use and and you can give a a little bit of a commission to me, which I would appreciate if you do end up going through Bluehost. Um, This is what most bloggers use. The hosting cost can be be between $5 to $7 per month. And then you also are going to need a domain. So my domain is ClassyCareerGirl.com and I pay about $10 to $15 per year for that. So make sure you assign your domain to your cPanel account if this is not your primary account. I know that's technical. It'll make sense once you get in here. And you can also purchase additional domains and assign them to that account in Bluehost as well. A special note though, you do not need any upgrades or extras. So what you're seeing now, this is the home page of Bluehost.com. You will click Get Started Now, that green button. And then you're going to pick the account that you want. I recommend picking the plus account, which is the one in the middle for $6.95 per month. And then you're going to pick your domain. So remember to keep this simple and short if possible. And .coms usually do better um, than like .org, .net, um, but, but do whatever you feel is best right now. You can always change this. You can always transfer it in the future. So the goal is really to make a decision and to take action and move forward. Um, Like I said, you don't need any upgrades or extras. And step two is to install WordPress. So the cost of this is totally free, yay. So you're gonna click on add-ons while you're logged into Bluehost. Then you're gonna click on Marketplace. You're gonna then click on one-click installs. Then you're going to click on WordPress, click on install, and then find the domain that you want to install WordPress on and click check domain. So remember, you don't need any upgrades or extras, but you're going to have a a list here. You can see right now on the screen, I, I have a lot of different domains that I've used and built. And then you should get a new screen with an error message actually that says this is Um, It says, oops, looks like something already exists there. I understand that continuing will overwrite the files. So this, since this is a brand new blog and website you're bringing, building, select that checkbox that says directory exists. I understand that continuing will overwrite files. But if you were running this on a website you already had up and running, you would not want to check this box. But it is not an issue here. Just click on check domain. And on the next screen, um, it'll say you're almost there. You don't need the advanced options, so leave that unchecked. Click on the item that says I have read the terms and conditions and click the install now button. And the installation process should begin. It will keep you updated on the process. Be patient, it may take a minute or two. And WordPress will then provide you with you your um, WP hyphen admin URL, which you wanna keep handy, as well as your password and um, your username. And make sure you make a copy of this. All right, now you are ready to log into WordPress with your new username and password, and now you should be looking at the WordPress dashboard, and your site is about to come alive. So step three, now you probably don't like the look of your website right now, but no worries. Now it's time to pick a website theme, and now we're going to make it pretty. So there are a million themes to choose from. 
Um, like I said, it's the next step is to install a theme. There are literally thousands of free ones available. Um, this is where you would find all of the free themes in the WordPress dashboard under themes. And if you're building a membership site for your program or product, I recommend using Wishlist Member and Optimize Press. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the course. If you're building an opt-in page, I would recommend Lead Pages. And if you're building a sales page, I would recommend Optimize Press. And if you're wondering about any of what any of those terms mean, just check out the definitions on the website workbook of this week. So then you're going to log into the WordPress dashboard. You're going to click on Appearance, click on Themes, and click on Install Themes. And you can view all of the themes available that are for free, and you can install one. You can always change to another one if you don't like it. So find one you like and start working with it. Personally, I do suggest spending a little money and buying a premium theme for your site since this is going to be a business website. Um, I do recommend Studio Press. This is the, the theme that I have on my website and I love it. Um, so the cost for themes, it can range from free all the way up to about $59.95 or even more if you'd like other themes as well. So now you are ready to start filling out your website. Woohoo! Make sure you share on the Facebook group that you created your website and share the link so we can check it out too and cheer you on.